All right, so right now we are talking about my top seven beta male behavioral traits that you must avoid from this point moving forward, from this year moving forward. Okay, these are my top seven beta male behavioral traits that you must stop doing. So let's crack right into this. So my first beta male behavioral trait that you must avoid and stop doing right now is you must stop being jealous and envious of other men, other dudes, especially other dudes who have higher social value than you, that are doing better in life than you, that are driving nicer cars than you, dating better looking women than you, living in nicer neighborhood, nicer houses, have a better lifestyle than you. Instead of hating on these guys and being envious of them, and shit talking them and throwing shade at them instead divert your energy and focus towards learning from them okay taking their knowledge and applying it to your own life and bettering yourself okay because you could either spend your energy and your focus in one of two ways either you can spend your energy and focus towards hating on that dude throwing shade so you could stay in your delusional little world keep your delusional little reality intact that you're an alpha boss that you're crushing in life even though you have no results and no receipts right you can keep doing that like most beta males do most lower tier lower value losers do right they have no results no reason to have such a big ego, yet they talk a big game, right? So either you could spend your life doing that or you can raise your level of consciousness and move yourself up into higher consciousness where you stop acting like a little bitch and instead you start looking at this successful guy as an ally. How can I learn from this guy? What could he possibly teach me that can make my life better? How can I improve myself so that I can become the best version of myself? I can stop being this little beta bitch, you know, hating. How do I do that? So that is the number one beta male trait that you must avoid and stop doing right now is stop being so jealous and envious of other dudes because that shit is so beta. It makes you look like such a little girl, such a little pussy, such a little bitch, and such a little toxic worm. The sad thing is, a lot of you guys who are like this can't even see it. You can't even see it because you're too busy trying to call everybody else out. But never do you take a second to go look in your mirror and go, what about me? What about the things that make me a piece of shit? What about the things that make me a loser? What can I fix about myself? No, get a focus on him. Look what he's doing now. Look at him now. Right? That's what losers do. Right? So stop being jealous and stop being envious of other dudes. Stop putting the focus on them, start putting the focus on yourself. Okay, so that's the number one beta male behavioral trait you must avoid from this point moving forward. Okay, number two beta male trait you must avoid, and I want you to stop doing this right now, guys. The number two beta male trait you must stop right now, right this second, is you must stop mean mugging other dudes. Bad enough, you're already jealous and envious of these dudes, but now you got a mean mug. Better look away, dude. Better look away. You don't want none of this. Better look away. Right? You ever see dudes who do right, They just lock onto you, right? You just lock right onto you. That is like the most beta shit right there as well. Mean mugging other dudes. Why are you mean mugging dudes? The reason why you're mean mugging dudes is because you don't feel you're enough. It's because you're threatened by this dude. Okay? And any high value guy you do that to can see right through you. Those are the guys that look away. Those are the guys just like, mm. You know, and they just leave feeling sorry for you because you're so stuck in your head. You're so stuck in your ego. The guys with the biggest egos are usually the guys who have no reason to have an ego. It's like these are the guys who are failing the most at life, sucking the most at life, have no results, no receipts, yet they have the biggest ego. They talk the biggest game. They talk the most shit. They throw the most shade. They have no reason to. These are the guys who are out there being jealous, envious, mean mugging. Okay. Super beta, guys. Whenever a guy mean mugs you, instead of looking him back, waiting for him to look away, and challenging him with a beta male stare down, that's what it's called. I call it that. It's called a beta male stare down. <sighs> look away, dude. You don't want none. Look away. I beat your ass. Look away. 
Instead of like, instead of engaging this low value, lower tier male in a beta male stare down, smile. It's like, what's up dude? Have a good day, man. Peace. Take the higher road. A lot of times these guys will be shocked that they're like, oh shit. You know, you'll automatically DLV them. You'll automatically DLV them. What's DLV? DLV stands for demonstration of lower value. It's a little pickup community term. You'll automatically DLV the guy. You'll make him feel like this small. You don't know how many guys like, I it, <laughs> would like look at me like, <laughs> right? I'm like, oh, hey man, what's up? Pound, right? Oh shit, oh, hi. <laughs> you know, the, you just catch them off guard. They're not expecting that because they're so used to dealing with other low value, lower tier, mean mugging dudes who are like, what, what's up? What's up, dude? Let's let's settle this right now in the parking lot. You know, like children, like little boys. That's some little boy ass shit right there. That's some middle school, junior high ass shit. That is not grown ass man shit. That is some little boy, junior high ass behavior. Okay, I don't engage in that. Why? Because I'm a grown man, right? I've got a business. I've got a I've got a successful business. I've got an awesome lifestyle. Why would I engage with some low value male like me? Why? I don't need to. I'm happy. You're not. You're not. I am. <laughs> right? That's why you do that. Like, <laughs> so guys, that is the number two <laughs> beta male trait you must avoid from this point moving forward is mean mugging other dudes. Just knock it off. Just stop. Stop doing it. All right. The third beta male trait you must avoid from this point moving forward is you must stop being so freaking emotional. Okay, and you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you guys, right? So emotional. Oh, throwing a temper tantrum, getting angry, start screaming, throwing a hissy fit like a woman. When you don't have your testosterone levels in check, when you have higher estrogen levels than you do testosterone levels, guess what? You will tend to act out like a female like a crazy female, right? And I call guys out who do that. Whenever I see a guy like, ah, 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 like acting out like that, I'm not going, oh shoot, everybody run, we're so scared. No, I'm like, look at that guy. Look at that guy, just like his mama. Just like his mama. Same mama who raised him, right? Acting out just like mama did. So in touch with his feminine. So in touch, he identifies more with his mother than he does his father. Right? Because that's who raised him. That's who he identifies with. And now he's just like his mama. He's just like his mama. Just like a woman. Just like an over emotional female who can't control her temper, her anger, her emotions. She can't keep her emotions in check. But you know who can? Men. Men can keep their emotions in check. That's a side effect of having high testosterone levels. You don't get all reactive like that. You don't get all like emotional. You don't throw these hissy fits because you identify more with your father. Even if you didn't grow up with your father, you can still identify more with your father's side when you are able to keep yourself in check. Keep your composure, right? That's what it's about because keeping your composure takes self-control. Acting emotional and letting your anger just fly and throwing temper tantrums, that doesn't take any control. It doesn't take any self-discipline. And that's a sign that your estrogen levels are too high. So that is the third beta male behavioral trait that you must avoid from this point moving forward. Now the fourth beta male behavioral trait that you must stop doing ASAP is you must stop pedestalizing and empowering the feminine imperative okay you must stop pedestalizing and empowering the feminine while destroying the masculine what i mean by this is you should be helping to protect and build a patriarchy and not helping to build and protect the matriarchy okay because society does not function without men it does not function with weak men in society or men who have been emasculated. That puts society and our civilization as we know it in danger of extinction. 
We need men to be men. We need men to be strong. So when you start supporting the matriarchy and politicians and policies and programs that empower the feminine, guess what? You are hurting the masculine. Okay? You are hurting the masculine. Anytime you empower politicians, policies, and programs that are against the nuclear family, that try to shame the nuclear family or anybody who wants to engage in having a nuclear family, guess what? You're not helping the masculine. You are helping the feminine. You are not helping build men. You are helping to destroy men. And this is why I said I don't support politicians who support policies that attack the family. And it's usually politicians who are on the left who are attacking the masculine and protecting the feminine and empowering the feminine. Okay? Those are usually the politicians who do that are people on the left. Those are the ones that want big government. They want more entitlement programs for men. No, for females, right? They're not getting entitlement programs for men. These are for women. Okay, they're constantly catering to them. They're constantly like, oh, you know, more pay, more women in the workforce, more women in the military, we need more affirmative action, all this other stuff. You know, they empower the feminine like there's no tomorrow. So that is the fourth beta male trait that you must stop doing is you must stop helping to destroy men and instead start helping to build men. Okay, that's all I'm saying about it. That's all I'm saying. The fifth beta male trait that you must stop doing like right now and in the future is you must stop creating and hiding behind these faceless and fake social media accounts, whether it's on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all of you pussies who are doing this, it's like creating these faceless and fake accounts so that you can throw shade at somebody that, that you don't like, you don't like the topic, you don't like what they said, it's triggered you because you know it's describing you to a perfect T. Instead of standing by your words like a man or a woman, a grown adult, a grown ass adult, Okay, because both males and females do this. I'm not just calling out men on this one. Both males and females do this. Instead of acting like an adult, you act like you are in junior high, right? You act like you're back in middle school, sixth grade all over again. I right, bash this person and hide because I, I don't want him to know it's me. I don't want him to know it's me. Like back in the day, you would write somebody a nasty letter and then you dump it in their locker, right? Sad. People did that. Even back then, I, as a kid, I was like, ah, man, that's not cool, dude. If you have something to say to that person, just why don't you just confront them in the schoolyard at recess and say it? No, I don't want them to know it's me, though. I don't want them to know it's me. That's such some little bitch behavior right there. Little bitch behavior. If you got something to say, be a man or be a woman and say it in front of your real social media profile. Stand by what you say. Just like I do, just like every other content creator does, whether it's YouTube or any other social media platform. We put our face out there, we stand by what we say. Okay, I'm not talking about these other pussies who create these YouTube accounts and then they hide and they never show their face, right? I'm not gonna talk about those pussies. They're even worse than the people who create fake YouTube profiles. They're hiding just the same. So from this point moving forward, enough with the faceless and fake accounts so that you could throw shade and um, and hide in the shadows while you take shots at people, especially people who are creating value for other people. I mean, if somebody has, you know, hundreds of thousands of, of subscribers or millions of subscribers, there's probably a reason why. The market is speaking. The market is telling you that, hey, people want to listen to this person. People want to hear this person out. Nobody wants to hear you, right? Otherwise, you'd have a following too. And if you want to compete and you got something to say, then go out there and compete. Put your face out there. Why are you trying to control the narrative about what people think about somebody who has their real social media profile out there? Why are you trying to control anybody's thoughts, including your own, behind a faceless and fake account. What does that prove? Who do you think you're kidding? Because a lot of these people who do that, they throw shade at somebody who has tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, if not millions of subscribers. And it's like, dude, do you not think they know who you are? I mean, at this point, that person's had tons of haters, tons of people who've just done exactly what you did, like sat there, create a fake faceless account. 
to throw shade. It's like, they know what you're about, dude. They, they're laughing at you. You're not getting your two second dirty high like you think you are. The only person you are lying to is yourself. Okay, the only person you are hurting is yourself. Because this person who's creating the value, who's creating the content, who obviously the free market has spoken that people want to listen to this person, otherwise they wouldn't have any as many followers as they do. This person has the balls to put their face out there, to put their name out there, to put their content out there. You know? And instead of just being like, hey, I disagree, or throwing some constructive criticism like an adult, no, you throw shade. You throw shade. Throw these ad hominem attacks, these character attacks with the way the person's dressed or the way the person looks because you got nothing. You can't even debate the topic. The sad fact is a lot of these people who do that are grown adults. They're like children trapped in the body of a grown adult. Let me put it that way. This is why even myself growing up, you know, I had a lot of problem with authority. I had a lot of problem respecting adults, even though my parents, my teachers, and everybody would be like, no, Matt, they're the adult. You got to listen to them. They know what they're talking about. And I would see them act out just like kids, just like children, just like people my own age. So I'm like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, this person has not given me a reason to, you know, respect them in that manner. Because they act just like my own peers who are like 11, 12 years old. So you got to set the example. This is why I don't do shit like that. I wasn't raised to do things like that and I never will do anything like that. I would be embarrassed of myself. I'd be so embarrassed, like, what a friggin' failure I am. What a loser I am that I'm cr I've am i created this faceless and fake account. Here I am, like, dropping all these hateful comments on YouTube, these angry, like, over-emotional comments attacking somebody because I didn't like the content because it was about me. They're describing me. You know, I would be so embarrassed and so ashamed. You know, I just want to bury myself in the, my head in the sand. But uh, a lot of these people who do that are narcissists. Haters are narcissists, okay? Every single hater I've ever met has been a narcissist because they have like no results in life, no receipts in life, have done nothing with their lives, yet they create these faceless and fake accounts and they throw shade at people who are a thousand times more successful than they'll ever, ever be. And they can't even see that this person is on a way higher social plank and a way higher social level than they are. They think they're on the same level. And it's like, no, dude, you're not. You're down here, way down here, and you're sinking. You're sinking like the Titanic. Your life is a failure. Instead of spending all your energy trying to fight off all these content creators who are creating content that are reminding you about who you really are. It's just sad. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep rocking in on this one. But uh, that is the fifth beta male behavioral trait you must avoid from this point moving forward. The sixth beta behavioral trait I want you guys to stop doing is I want you to stop stagnating in life, okay? I want you to stop allowing yourself to get so complacent in life. When you're not moving in life, you're basically not getting anything done. You're just kind of stagnating. You're becoming complacent. You're getting too comfortable with your life. Generally, you're staying home a lot. You're not even really going out. You don't really have friends, you know, because obviously when you're not going out, you're not making friends either, okay? not making friends, you're not socializing, you're not networking with other peers, other high value males or other high value females. If you happen to be female watching this, you're not moving around. And in life, in order to keep yourself from falling into lower consciousness and stay in that higher consciousness that I talk about, you need to keep moving in life, okay? You need to keep going out. You need to go out as much as you can, right? As humans, we were never meant to just stay in our caves and never come out. We're meant to wander the land. We're meant to explore, adventure, okay? Especially as a man, you are meant to explore and adventure in life. And once you stop doing that, you start staying home, start playing video games all day, start hating in the YouTube comments, create these faceless fake accounts, start doing dumb shit like that. Guess what that should tell you? It tells you that you are not moving in life, okay? You are not moving in life. Again, in order to keep your testosterone levels high, your mojo levels high, and to keep yourself from sinking into lower consciousness, you must continue to keep moving in life, okay? You must constantly be moving in life, constantly have something to do, constantly have something to get done. One of the things I teach in my premium Alpha Male Secrets program is the three factors of happiness. That's actually in the very first month. Remember, the first month is only a buck. That's why you guys need to take advantage. 
uh, three factors of happiness is having something to do, something to look forward to, and someone to love. Okay, but those two are very important. The first two are very important. Something to do and something to look forward to. And of course, someone to love, right? Could be your animals, could be a family member. It doesn't necessarily have, uh, have to be a girlfriend. Something to do, something to look forward to, and someone to love. And those three factors are usually missing in a beta male's life. And this is why they sink into lower consciousness and they start acting out like they're back in junior high school on a playground. Only now they're like wearing a bag around their face to stay, you know, anonymous. So you can't see what they're doing. See what they're doing. So pathetic. So pathetic. So that is the six beta male behavioral trait I want you guys to stop doing is having lack of movement in your life. You gotta start moving in life, guys. This is why it's important to know what your grind is, know what your path and purpose is so that you can start moving in life. Because once you're on your grind, you won't stop moving, okay? I mean, for me right now, I'm constantly moving around. This is why you guys are like, hey, you're in your Range Rover, now you're shooting your garage, and then you were in Vegas, and then you were in some, how come you're always traveling, Em? Why are you always traveling? Why are you always in hotels? How come you're never home? Because I got shit to do, son. I've got businesses that I'm buying. I've got businesses to run. I've got shit to do. I can't just stay home like you. I gotta move around. Why are you always in your car shooting these videos? That's the only time I get a chance to do these. It's rare right now. I'm just sitting here with my DeLorean, right? That's because I'm getting ready to leave again in a week and I'm trying to knock out some content. But a lot of you guys are like, huh, how come you're always in hotels? Because I travel, son. That's what you do when you're a businessman, when you're an entrepreneur, a lifestyle entrepreneur. Right? You're constantly moving around. You're constantly out there. So why on earth would I be home? That's what beta males do. All beta males want to do is stay home. Don't get me wrong, I like staying home. But you know what? I can't right now. I can't as much as I want to. I can't. I got things to do. I got a life to live. Life is short. I've got businesses to build. I've got employees to feed. I got family to take care of. I got my dogs to take care of. I got other cars I want to buy. I've got other dreams, aspirations that I want to achieve while I still can, while I still got some energy, some youth left in me. I want to take advantage of it. Most people who are busy hating, who are going to hate on this coaching video, who are going to hide behind that faceless fake account, are they going out? They have a grind? No, they're just staying home. They're losers. They're losers. They're beta males. Okay, so lack of movement. Got to start moving in life. And the seventh and final beta male behavioral trait that you must stop and i mean stop right now i'm not kidding when i say this is you must stop fapping okay you must join my no fap movement you gotta stop with the online porn guys this is another side effect of not moving in life having lack of movement not having a path and purpose not having a grind all right, because I'm so busy, I don't have time to watch online porn even if I wanted to. I'd rather use that time and energy to go out and pick up a real girl. I'd rather use that time and energy to take my dogs to the park. I'd rather use that time and energy to come up with new content for you guys, to shoot more content. I don't want to be sitting there loading up porn with my pants down, my laptop in my lap. I don't want to be doing that. That's beta shit. Okay, that's beta shit. And so when you are still in this mode where you're fapping... What you're doing is you're not only lowering your testosterone levels, you're not only lowering your lack of motivation to go out there and meet and socialize with real people, real women, real life, humanity. Okay, you're creating this false sense of intimacy in your head. You're tricking your brain to relieve yourself from the responsibility of taking action in real life. Does that make sense? So you have to understand how damaging fapping is, guys. I mean, online porn is really a, a means of escape. And the thing that you'll notice about online porn is, especially over the last few years, if you've noticed, it's gotten weirder and weirder and weirder, right? There's a lot more incest. It's all like half of these uh, porn videos are now filled with incest. Getting just weirder and weirder. Now there's like porn with like animals. There's porn with... Uh, like these cartoon figures, demon characters. It's insane. It is like some creepy, creepy ass shit that you would only see in like hell. Right? I mean, if you would see images of hell, that would probably be it. It's like 
whatever the latest is on online porn. Th the reason why, like, I know what's going on with online porn is because they are usually the first to come out with the latest, best, and hottest marketing ideas. I hate to say it. You know, I have an entrepreneurs group in LA and they're constantly talking about the latest innovations that porn has made in marketing, in salesmanship, in promotion. It's insane that it usually comes from the adult entertainment world and it's just gonna get worse and worse. I mean, you're just gonna see crazier and crazier shit as time goes on. You're gonna see like robot porn. It's really like sickening to this point. And I say sickening from the point of view of what they're doing to not just men, but women too. I mean, it's really destroying relationships between men and women. I mean, even if you're not looking to get into any type of like romantic relationship with a woman, it's just destroying relationships with men and women and men and men. There's nothing good that comes from online porn, from FAP. You know, it's just desensitizing you more and more. And this is why porn is getting weirder and weirder. It's because they know their audience. They're not stupid, right? A lot of these porn sites, they know their audience. They know it's like, okay, we can't just show them like man and woman sex anymore. That's not enough. They're already desensitized to that. So we have to up the ante. We have to increase the dosage, right? It's just like any medicine that any doctor would give you. It's like it comes to a point where it just stops working. So guess what they do? They increase the dosage because now your system is desensitized to it. It's desensitized to the normal dose. Now it's gotta be, oh, stepsister, stepsister sleeping over, stepmom, you know, oh, the horse participates in this. Oh, look at this cartoon character, animal beast looking thing participating, three-headed monster participating in sex. It's like pathetically just, hilarious how far porn has gone to continue to up the dosage for guys who have been desensitized to just normal male and female sex it's like they just can't get off on that anymore now they need to see some even weirder shit and one thing i've always taught in my uh pickup programs is the longer you've gone without sex the weirder the porn you watch so the longer you've gone without sex especially with a partner that you're actually attracted to, the weirder the porn you watch will get. I've always dated the girls that I've wanted to. I mean, I've been fortunate in that, in that regard. Uh, I, I wouldn't even say fortunate because I've always had the balls to go for it. When I've seen a girl who's even been a little bit out of my league, I just go for it, right? I'm like, maybe she'll be in a great mood today. Maybe she'll just find something she likes about me, right? I don't, I don't even think about the rejection. I just think about the win. And this is why I've gotten the girlfriends that I have in the past, right? I've gotten really, really stunning looking girlfriends to the point where I've never had to like rely on online porn for intimacy. You know, I, I mean, even back then, like when I like, watched online porn, it was more like recreation. Then it got to the point where I was like, oh, this is like getting weirder and more and more just <sighs> grotesque and repulsive. I just have no interest in it anymore. Now it just kind of like, just repulses me. I don't like online porn. I don't watch online porn. It's just insane how much it's damaging um, people's lives, both male and female. So that is the seventh beta male behavioral trait that I want you to stop doing like right now and start fixing is you got to knock off the online porn you got to knock off the fapping you got to join the no fap movement and you got to get out there and start living in the real world start meeting real people and exploring humanity not these online pornographic actresses that are not part of reality it's funny because i always know whenever i meet a guy who is like a 30 or 40 year old virgin and i always ask him like what would be your dream girl and automatically they're like fake tits plastic surgery big glass heels they literally describe a porn actress and i'm like dude that that's not really a real female you'd see in reality and you know even when you do see those females out in, in the real world like in hollywood a lot of these girls are out like these porno actresses are out there um these chicks are completely screwed in the head if you look back on a lot of these porn actresses from the 80s or 90s uh, you'll find many of them have committed suicide, you know, because they were that messed up in the head, man. The industry really messes them up. I always tell these guys, that's not really a, a realistic interpretation of what a high value female would be. And that's definitely not somebody you would want 
to be in an LTR with, that chick would destroy you. She would annihilate you. She'd take all your money. She would be doing drugs all day. I'm like, really? Is that the kind of partner you want? <laughs> you know, so it's always hilarious to me because I could tell these guys have been like never been with a real woman. It's like they've been spending all their time on, uh, on like these online porn sites and not in venues <laughs> interacting with like real people. So those are my top seven beta male behavioral traits that you must avoid from this point moving forward, this year moving forward. So I'm gonna wrap up here. Until next time, this is Matt Cross from Alpha Male Secrets signing out from my garage with my DeLorean over here in the background. Beautiful car. <laughs> Don't forget to smash that like button below. Go ahead and smash it right now. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it. Why? So that you get notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. Okay, so hit the notification bell as well. Otherwise, you will not be notified when I upload brand new coaching videos fresh to my channel. So make sure you're notified as well. And also, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. So make sure you subscribe as well. Okay, because it helps not just the channel out, but it helps out other men. Because the more people who subscribe to the channel, the more men we reach, right? And God knows men need this type of knowledge. All right? And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content that I am teaching you even further, the best way to do that is by becoming a premium subscriber of my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel, which I am hosting on a private platform away from YouTube. And the reason I'm doing that is to protect my content from YouTube in the event they try to shut us down one day, right? All of my premium Alpha Male Secrets lessons will be protected. Why? Because I'm paying for this platform and it's encrypted. So nobody can take us down, right? It's a private encrypted platform where all of my Alpha Male Secrets coaching videos will remain forever. So if you want to support my work, that's the best way to do it by becoming a premium subscriber of my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel. And right now it's only one buck for the entire first month of premium Alpha Male Secrets content from me. And it's real easy to sign up. All you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video. Dun, dun, dun.